We have some Friday night football as the fight for Yellow Road takes place at Vitia Valley. The Mustangs welcome rival to Wabonzi Valley to town. Both teams currently sit at 0-1. Last year's matchup between these two ended in a 49-38 Warrior victory. Four minutes in, Matia has a first and 10 on the 17. As Logan Frederick is looking for an opening, he finally finds Alex Cleveland for the opening score. Game remains 7 zip until the second quarter as Matia gets set up for the field goal attempt on the 7 yard line. Kicker Nicholas Carrier gets the 3 pointer to go through the uprights for Matia to 10 0 Mustangs. Black and gold going for the punt now on 4th and 10, but the snap a little too low. Obanzi gets the ball deep in Mustang territory six minutes ago in the half. After that bad snap, Wabonzi on the 17, facing a second and 10. Warrior quarterback Nathan Pappas, Heat seeks the pass to Tyler Helbing, giving the Warrior the score. Wabonzi makes the two-point conversion just like that. It's 10 to eight, Matia. Time winding down in the half as Wabonzi has a third and five on the 20. Pappas finds a wide open Helbing again for the touchdown. 14-10, Wabonzi at the break. Five minutes left in the third now. Wabonzi setting up camp at the eight yard line. Pappas hands off to Gibran Lee, who breaks it outside and into the end zone. He goes for the score. 20 to 10, Wabonzi's advantage. Fourth quarter now, the Warriors have a third and 13, sitting at the 18 yard line. The pass into the end zone, picked off by Matias Alex Cleveland. That's a huge break for the Mustangs. Next drive with seven minutes left in the fourth, Matia has a first and goal on the nine as Logan Frederick fires and finds Jalen Johnson in the end zone. Matia down just three, 20 to 17, Wabonzi leads, 7-10 left. Things are getting a little more interesting as Dub V loses the snap and Matias Jake Pauline comes up with the ball. Matia has the ball on the 30 now with under seven minutes left. Turning a turnover into points, Matia has a first and goal on the seven as Frederick finds the gap and runs it in himself. Matia now leads 24 to 20, five minutes to go. Here comes the biggest play of the night. Wabonzi has a fourth down, 30 seconds left, and quarterback Nathan Pappas fires the pass to Sean Clinton in the painted area. Go ahead, touchdown. Wabonzi misses the two-point conversion, but still leads 26-24. Just 17 ticks left, Matia and quarterback Logan Fredericks looking for that one more chance, but his pass downfield picked off. Ladale West secures the win, 26-24 the final for Wabonzi, giving Coach Baumgartner his first win as the head coach. 100%, I mean, first of all, I think John does a great job, and I think that program's on the rise, and they got some really great kids, Jalen Johnson, uh, you know, Jake Pauling, some really good kids in there, happen to live in my neighborhood. Uh, so I'm really excited for them and where they're going. But even more so, just just really proud of our kids, the way they battled the last, not only tonight, but really the last year, um, going through all this COVID stuff and just continuing to fight. And, you know, you know so just proud of them. You know? Absolutely. It was a great win. I think that we really came together as a team. You know, our O line stepped up, our defense stepped up big time at the very end. I think that, you know, as a team together, we had that rough loss last week, but I think we're really rebounding. We're coming together. We're believing in each other and our, and our coaches and everybody. And I think that really we could take a next step. I think that our team is, is built for it. So I'm really proud of how we played today. And I think it was really a team victory. It wasn't me, it wasn't Tyler, it was all of us. And I'm, you know, I'm ecstatic to be a part of this. This is great. I'm really happy. So.